Well, there are always going to be setbacks. There are always going to be challenges. Uh, you're always going to make mistakes. And it's not a matter of if, it's just when. And how one responds is really uh, the true test of a person. As they say, adversity is the true test of a person. So as the saying goes, no matter how many times you get knocked down, it's a matter of how many times you get back up and rather than become bitter from experiences or frustrated with failure, it's a matter of stepping back and trying to learn the lessons so that you don't repeat those mistakes and don't face those failures and setbacks again in the future. In retirement, I'm concentrating on children and education. I've been working as a volunteer at Children's Hospital, at the King Arts Complex, I tutor at Christo Ray. Um, I'm helping out at Crystal Ray. As I said, I've gone back to college. So my main focus in retirement are children and education. A good friend of mine is Lawrence Funderburk, and he speaks to children, he speaks to uh, young adults, he even speaks in prison. And what he talks about often um, to students in high school is about their personal brand. And he speaks from personal history in some of the mistakes that he made when he was young and uh, established a personal brand that at that time cost him heavily when it came time for him to be drafted into uh, the NBA. And he urges students that even though they think maybe no one is watching or listening, that in fact they are. And they are building the foundation upon which they're going to build their lives and their careers. And as we've been told, we shouldn't build a foundation on sand, but one on solid rock. So I would say to the students that uh, what they say, what they do, is going to make a, a difference in their college life and how they live the rest of their lives and their careers. So be careful, do the right thing, uh, do uh, right thought, have right thoughts, right actions, right words because you're building that foundation for your future.